Hello and welcome to the first review of the second round of the seventh head-to-head -head contest here from RCTG Germany. I'm version 1 and I will look at these two release parks for this round. Uh, it is the Robber Barons against the Manual Laborers. So um, the first park that we will be looking at is, uh, is World's Fair by the Robber Barons. It is a park about a World Fair. Or an expo of sorts. So uh, let's just get right into it and look at what they built here. Um, I I have to say first that I have been on a five-hour bus ride, and it should have been uh, two and a half hours long. So if I'm overly criti uh, critical of something, it could be because of uh, of that reason. For that reason. So uh, let's look at the park. It is as I said, an expo, a, a fair, um, with a, a Tour de Eiffel, a Eiffel Tower-like structure in the in the middle of the park, and a lot of I wouldn't say steampunky, but a lot of old school, um, old industrial times uh, architecture with a lot of glass, to be honest. So um the the entrance area has some attractions some uh some houses a nice ar architecture the, the train goes through it uh, as I was I will uh, try to keep this on a more macro level so I will not go into detail for every house because that's what your eyes are for So um yeah let's go to uh, to this first hall which contains uh, nothing. We. Really. Uh, it's con. It is basically a small themed glass building with with a garden of some sorts. Really hard to to detect what the purpose of it is really. So uh, let's just go. Um, important to notice this. This I think it's a. Yeah, it's. I mean, it is a coaster, but I don't know what. The, I think. I thought for a moment that it was maybe a transportation coaster, but maybe it is. Maybe it's just a a normal coaster that's riding through the park. Um, so basically, uh, this this part of the park has a lock flum, which is uh, pretty well integrated into into this whole theming with with these indoor trees and stuff, and with yeah, that was that was my bad. Yeah, let me say this, I'm not the biggest fan of having things like this direct... Oh, that was close. Directly beneath my, my mouse now is this uh, stressed tram car. As soon as soon as, as you hover over it, uh, the game crashes. That's something. I don't know what the purpose of it is. Or if it's just a bug and they couldn't fix it, but, but that's not great for a park, to be honest. Um, yeah, let me fix it. So uh, yeah, the lock flum. I, I I like the lock flum. I mean, the layout is a little bit thin, but you know that that that's that's uh, yeah that has to be if it if it should fit into this this hall. And you have yeah some some uh, some some uh, yeah some attractions here that are currently not working uh, uh, working at least. I don't know. It's. I don't think it's. It's. I don't know. Um. So, yeah, very nice bridge here, by the way. Uh, so the architecture stays in the. As you see, I mean, the the architecture doesn't really change too much. I mean, they they use different styles of architecture, like a little bit more of Asian or a little bit more of, of uh, you know, other types. But but it's all in the same direction which is good because you know that's that's like the, the aim of a park always that to have to have one clear line uh to what the the theming is so uh this i think that should be a a slipping slide a better slipping slide what's fair trans no what's for transit what is for oh okay so uh this coaster you have to basically you have to close it, go into build mode, to have the 
to have the car. I will just test it so it drives to to have it work. Another thing, like I I read on the on the uh, in the forums that that someone of the of the rubber bands said that it's not that big of a deal and we should uh, stop pissing about uh, uh, stop bitching about it because you, you know we don't have to do much. But honestly. No, no, that's just a little. It, sh it should work, you know. That's that's. These are the little things that are important in a head-to-head -head contest. And you know, if you, if you don't make your rights go, then you have done a mistake. That is that is you know that is to be criticized. And you know, I'm I'm just being honest here. Like, of course, we could say, oh, it's it's so easy to fix. But I don't know. It's like if you get a car and there is a button in the in the motor that you have to push before it works. I mean, it's not hard to push this imaginary not non-existing button, but you know you want to have something that works directly, and and that's it. And the coast lights ever don't like it too much. Like it's it's these this this uh, strange hill. I bet this is another glitch uh, uh, glitch thing. I will I will try it at the end uh, of my reviews to to get out of it. But I'm pretty sure it just will crash my game also. Again, not really great. Um, the coaster, yeah, you get you get a launch, then you get this one uh, cable back, and then it's only turns. And I, you know, the the only coaster that I I've ridden that it has too many turns, in my opinion, is Goliath in Six Flags Magic Mountain, and I absolutely hate the ride. So, yeah, I think you can imagine what my what my um what my uh yeah what what I think about this coaster. So um, but the theming is quite well done, like with this with this. With this building and with all this electrical uh, electrical things going around and stuff, it's I think it's well really well done with you know all, all what they did there. So uh, the next up is is this uh, little pavilion with or pavilion more or less with the steam powered uh, sky carriages carriages, which is uh, yeah a small ride. Yeah, it's it's just a theme ride with you know these 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 houses or what they should what they are supposed to be. I think the highlight of this of this area is really this this bumper boats, Aquatopia, which is in the in the lower uh, in the lower floor of the attraction. Of course, we have here this this pretty well done uh, elevator with the big red whatever this is. Deep red man, yeah. But uh, balloon, I don't know. Like I, I always hate it when when I don't uh, know what it's supposed to be. Maybe other people don't have problems with that, but I don't know what this is. So maybe it should be. Maybe this fire or something. Like I don't know. Okay, next hall with a, um, I think it's a gas lower Eurofighter like coaster. I don't know where it is at the moment. I hope it works. I like how they how they use the use different. Oh yeah, there is this. I I like how they use different ty uh, types of of uh, of track for this, but that's almost normal for for all factors to be honest. I just like it. A lot of Ferris wheels here in this area. But all with a purpose, I think. I guess. So yeah, small, small layout. But you know, it's it's a oil factor. Oil factor always have small layouts. And you know, that's just about it. You have this, uh, these. I imagine there would be something to eat in there and stuff. I honestly, I don't really know what to say. Like the the thing about this park is, and why I don't like it. First of all, the theme doesn't really hit me. Second of all, the bugs that I that I already mentioned. And third of all, it's just so, so confusing and over detailed, over complicated. It's it's just so complicated. It's not. I don't think it's very pleasing on the eye, to be honest. And and that's what what I think about most when I think about head to head. And you know, it's just like there's another glitching car, but they always stay in the same place, uh, don't they? Yeah, I will try to. Use that as an escape as well. So um, yeah, it's. I don't think it's re really, uh, really pleasing aesthetically. 
to in my eyes. Like I don't enjoy looking at it. It's just so confusing. My eyes are just. I don't know. They are too drawn to so many things, and it's a little bit strange. Like the best things are of this park are really the simpler things, and you know that's that's not really how it should be. Like this, this dinosaur skeleton is pretty nice. I think it. Yeah, it's a dino. Um, and as I said, I don't really enjoy it uh, looking at it too much, and you know that that shouldn't be uh, the goal. And you know. When it comes to head to head, to head the, the thing that I'm the only thing that I'm really going for uh, going with is how how much do I like to look at it and in this case it's 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 not much yeah and and plus the theme it was mentioned a, a couple of times in the in the forums the theme just feels like it has been used a couple of times before and yeah I'm not the biggest fan of the theme so error trapper nope that works. Does the other work? As ex yeah, you can hover over this, but if as soon as you hover over this, oh, from this angle you can hover over this. Oh, the other just fixed itself. Yeah, strange. Okay, let's take it back, but still, you you saw that that I got kicked before. So uh, let's go into the second head to head. Park of this week, the manual laborers, Bermuda, the lost colony. It's about a a plane crash in an exotic island and a, a big theme park that is built on the Bermuda Triangle. And first of all, something that I just wanted to get out of there, uh, get out before before I look at this park. Please, for the future, stop building. Island parks with boats. I feel like island parks with boats is one of the most used combination of head to head. And yeah, it's just Tenochtitlan had it was an island park with boats. This is an island park with boats. Last season there were a couple of island parks with boats or heavy sea parks with boats at least. I'm not the biggest fan of 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 uh, of just doing that that over and over and again boat boat boat. Life of Pi reference, I don't really care because I don't really care about the movie at all. But it's nice, I guess. I think, I mean, I guess it's a slightly newer boat, a slightly more usable boat, but still. It's just boats, boats, boats. And the whole park, again, like, if if I just uh, uh, park it here, the screen, really complicate everything. Like, I... There are some parts that I really like, like this, this this windmill is nice, it looks nice, and this this little tower looks nice. But some of it is really, yeah, it's it's hard it's hard to really for me it's it's for me personally hard to enjoy it really, because it's it's a little bit chaotic, uh, all in all, and you know maybe maybe that's the the idea behind it, but you know, it just seems I don't know. It's not as bad as with World World's Fair, but still, it's a little bit strange. Um, this is a, uh, this is of course a really cool thing, the Wind Seeker. So plus points for that, I I would guess. The the use of boats, more boats, more boats. There are boats everywhere in this park. Like, you know what? This is a park full of boats, and you know what is the best part of this park full of boats is? This plane. Because that's awesome. That's amazing. That's something that I personally haven't seen. That is used to full extent with, with the wings being being passed as well, or at least the swing. And this swing is, you know, you can see that this is a path with, with a ladder at the end. And you know, this is just really well done. And I think it, it, it fits the theme pretty well. Like, I mean, it's kind of random that this this plane ended up in this spot but but it's it's really cool i mean they could have easily gotten it uh, there so um yeah um let's go further of course this this whole, this whole park is based around the myth of, of the bermuda triangle with you know planes crashing there and boats disappearing this, here's another plane there are some some uh yeah back there is a, is, is a plane in a cave for whatever reason 
And yeah, uh, with this this little mine ride, this it, it, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna be honest. The sport, the rafting is is pretty solid. This is a pretty solid park. And yeah, the, I think the the, the Intermin coaster is pretty well done. I looked at it before and I and I quite liked it. I mean, the layout is is nothing too spectacular, I guess, but it it works well with the with with everything else on this island. And you have a lot of stuff going on, like this this little tower, this this elevator. You have you have this flying coaster, which is going in and inside and outside of the mountain. With a nice station, I like that. I like this area because it's 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 pretty simple. But again, many colors everywhere. I mean, I guess it should. Uh, it, it is supposed to to point out that th this this whole thing is is not a planned thing, but more lo uh, like uh, like scav uh, scavenge out of everything. But still, so so many colors here. And then you have something like this, which is this this area is pretty nice. Like these two restaurants, or maybe it isn't a restaurant. Yeah, it is. And this restaurant, th those two I like. I like really much. Um, the are a few buildings that I that I like but I not love. This this is another cool building. It's just so, you know. It 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 just has the feel to it that is a, it, it has been done before, even if it hasn't. It just feels a little bit this way because it's a slightly fantastical island park with boats, and that's something that we see basically nearly every round now. And again, too much use of boats as a gimmick. I I personally think. I mean, it, it's like we get it. You can build build boats as you know. Bridges and boats as stuff for for crafting and boats as restaurants and boats as boats. But my, I think looking at it, my favorite par uh, thing of the park, except this awesome plane, is this. Just you know these the crash plane with the two two uh, rescue boats. The the history of the pl crash planes is of course that in the in the in the uh, read, uh, read me of of the of the park. There is a part part of the black box, and it's about a crane crash. Uh, a, cra a plane crashed, and you know they they found out that this this awesome theme park was was located there. Um, as I said, I like this park, and. Some has, uh, someone has, uh, some people have criticized me for saying this is the weakest matchup. I think the, the, the reason why I think it's the weakest matchup is not because of this park. This park would be for me personally a good, if, uh, but not an outstanding round one park. The other park, I think I would vote every round one park higher, higher than World's Fair, to be honest. And this would be in the middle of the pack, and that's why the, the, I think the first round was just so good in my eyes, with every matchup being being really great. That uh, this matchup has just problems going with it, and you know that's why I think that this is the weakest matchup we had this far. And yeah, um, I think don't think there's much more to say. As as always, go into the park, look at it yourself, like this bridge and these. These little buildings. There's always something more that you can that can discover, and I think that's important to discover for yourselves. I just want to uh, give you a quick overview. I think it's pretty clear how my vote is going, but you know, can't be super impartial with with the with the vote uh, with you know what I'm saying here. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, the video. I hope you don't flame me too hard. And yeah, uh, we will. F I will. You will hear either me or MCI in the next review of the next uh, round, or not next round, but the next matchup in round two. Um, until then, look at this, these pa these beautiful parks. 
in in uh, in your own on your own computer in your own RCT to enjoy them to the maximum ex extent and goodbye.